All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to our Living Well Now business opportunity call. I'm going to change my background because it looks like I'm on a movie screen. I'm um, not sure why I didn't do that beforehand, but if you're catching this on YouTube, hello. Hope you're doing great. Um, if you're catching this live here on Zoom, happy Wednesday night. Grateful to be on the, this journey with you um, and just excited that you're here. Uh, I think the, the thing that it, one of the main, main reasons I love this young living journey, this young living uh, community um, is really about connection and, and wellness expansion. So connection is for me, I think something that we are all born with this desire to connect with others and find, you know, find community uh, like-minded community that has, has similar goals. Um, and then the wellness aspect is, is such a gift of this young living world, this living well now world is we're, we're looking at ourselves in the mirror and saying, okay, where do I wanna go from here? I'm 40 years old, how can I grow? How can I expand? How can I improve over this next 12 months, over this next five years, over this next 15 years, right? So it's really having this vision that's starting today, focusing on one day at a time and, um, and looking to community, looking to each other for ideas, for um, new, you know, new inspiration, for wellness tips and, and guidance, you know. So um, thanks for being here tonight. Uh, if you have a passion for wellness, uh, not only in your life, but also sharing wellness with the world, um, this Young Living Business Opportunity is a great, great opportunity for you. Um, and even if you're like, kind of, you know, maybe you're like on a scale one to 10, you're at a three, like you're, you're really getting into this young living world. And you're like, yeah, maybe I could do this. Maybe I could share this, this, um, this lifestyle with others. Um, it's, it's, it's not, it's not that you're always going to be at 10, right? I mean, it's all part of that journey of growth. And I think that, um, I know for me, when I first, when my wife and I first started growing our business about seven, seven or eight years ago, um, I wasn't on fire, you know, it's been, it's been different seasons, right? So, um, in some seasons I'm like pumped, jazzed and all about it. And other seasons I haven't been as, as excited. So, um, just understanding that the entrepreneurial journey is, is about a marathon. It's about us, not about a sprint, you know, um, it's about having a long-term vision. It's not about, um, in three months, I'm going to be able to retire. Right, it's having a long-term vision that um, that sees you through the, the the bumps and sees you through the challenges of any any business, um, you know, personal personally owned business like this. All right, on that note, lifestyle one is what we really, as as I think about it, I feel like we were all kind of sold lifestyle one, and that is go to school, get those skills, get get some sort of a certification or degree, um, and then find that job, find a job, work hard. Um, and maybe you might find five different jobs over a, over a 40 year window. Maybe you lock in for 30 years somewhere. Um, but long story short, it's about working hard from 20, you know, 18 to 65 or 22 to 65. Um, and oftentimes a lot of our dreams and goals and aspirations really get put off until we're 65. And then, then we have that time freedom and that, um, you know, perhaps greater financial freedom that then we're allowed to enjoy life. We're able to enjoy life more, more regularly, um, you know, even daily. So the idea with lifestyle two and this young living business opportunity is, Hey, yeah, I started with school I got some skills. Yes, I did get a degree. Yes, I went and studied in Jerusalem for six months. Then I went to massage school, got another certification. Then I started teaching high school. Um, you know, we all have these different paths. And then I started using oils about the same time I started um, my massage school and got into aromatherapy. And I was like, okay, this is, this is fascinating. Plants? I was learning about how healing touch, how helpful, how helpful massage is for body, mind, spirit, wellness. 
but then you start, you know, using different, um, you know, oils, like you're using coconut oil or you're using an olive oil um, to give massages or some sort of a blended, you know, blend um, like the Young Living B6 blend, you know, you're using these oils and, and I had an aromatherapy class and you start realizing like, whoa, there's, there's more going on here, you know, as far as essential oils go, how might this, you know, benefit my life and others' lives? So after using the oils for about eight years, I saw my sister, my mom, my sister-in-law all start growing businesses um, and they were start, they were really having success. And they were like, Aaron, Sarah, you guys have to do this thing. Like this, this is really amazing. It's community, it's wellness. Um, you guys are passionate about community. You're passionate about wellness. Um, and also you want to design your life. You want to live this next 50 years, 70 years and design your life. And so we were not, we did not jump on when they first jumped on. They all jumped on. It took us a couple of years to finally jump on. So know that wherever you're at on your journey, maybe your friend has been kind of nudging you for three years or nudging you for six months. Um, and, and that's why you're here. Or that's why you're listening to this. Um, again, as you're looking at this, this graphic with me, this work smart window, right? Um, that it's not, it's like I said at the beginning, it's not overnight. No entrepreneurial path is overnight. Um, there are casinos, there are, there is gambling. I mean, that's, that could maybe be overnight, but most of the time overnight, most people are in debt right after that. So this is about working smart and really locking in and committing to a vision, right? And, um, you know, whether you're part of the Living Well Now team or somebody else found this video and you're watching this, um, yeah, here's to your visions, right? Here's to you having the opportunity to design your life in the way you really want um, and just saying yes and committing and having that vision and just staying focused day in and day out and learning what it takes to be successful. So the dream world of lifestyle too, you work smart. And we hear it from Richard Bliss Brook, Eric Worre. These are a couple of names within the network marketing world. Um, they really say you've got to dial in for about four to seven years. Four to seven years is usually the window where somebody's able to say adios or to a part-time job or adios to a full-time job. Obviously, it's dependent upon that person's work, that person's effort, that person's willingness to learn the skills, the tools, the mindset to be successful. So, and then, you know, once you've done that, the goal, the goal is to then be able to enjoy life on your terms and have more freedom and flexibility with the day to day, and also continue to grow your business um, just on your time, right? As, 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 a, as a business owner. So wellness and beauty is anticipated to be a trillion dollar industry by 2025. This is not going away. I think it's only going to, I know wellness more than I know the beauty industry, but I know the wellness world, I believe is going to continue to expand and expand and expand because I think more of us are realizing this body, mind, spirit, health conversation. We have to choose it. Like we have to step up and choose it. And so a lot, you know, and we're seeing it more often through YouTube, Instagram, we're seeing it on all these different platforms. Um, and I think it's just going to keep growing. This is, you know, this is what is anticipated. And then obviously the beauty industry um, is also continuing to expand. So Young Living has solutions in, for both wellness and beauty. We've got essential oils that provide natural wellness support, oil infused supplements and nutrition products, also nat natural household cleaning products. We have a Savvy Minerals makeup line. Um, from what I understand, the, clean, the, the cleanest and greenest makeup line out there. Um, we've got products formulated for kids, babies, and animals, and just, just loaded. CBD, uh, we've got a CBD line. So this wellness and beauty world, as it keeps growing, we as Young Living members get to be a part of that growth and expansion. So Young Living. This is, this is really what sets Young Living apart. One of the main reasons we're so passionate about sharing Young Living, um, it really is about this promise, this promise that from the time the seed is planted to the time the bottle is sealed, we know that cultivation, distillation, 
and the testing process. We know that this whole process that we are getting the most pure essential oil that's available on the market. Um, and we can literally go to farms and see this seed to seal process in action. Uh, we've been fortunate enough to see quite a few farms around the world and every farm that I've seen has been mind expanding. It's so exciting to see the commitment to excellence that Young Living is about. So um, we know, and also, right, um, just an example of seed to seal. We've literally seen Young Living over the last 15 years go out of stock in items, even in items that are like highly desired by most of the members. They will go out of stock in, in an item. Valor was one about seven years ago. Uh, Valor, five, six years ago, went out of stock. Valor is a go-to for so many of us. And Valor went out of stock because they were not getting the pure. They, they did not, they were testing. I forget the, the oil it was, but they were testing this oil. I think it was black spruce. Yes, here it is. It was black spruce. They could not get the quality of black spruce. That, that they needed, that they believed was necessary. So long story short, they end up buying a farm in Canada and start, and now are create, have a sustainable farm growing and expanding up in, in Canada, uh, harvesting black spruce. So this is the commitment to the seed to seal the Young Living is about. Um, Gary and Mary Young started Young Living in 1994, so 27 years ago, and it is a mom and it started small and has just bit by bit, one person at a time, grown to what it is today. Um, much of the 25 years, you can check out the growth curve, has been about growth and expansion. So this is exciting to be a part of a company that has growth on its mind, that is doing what it's take, doing what it takes to be in that be a part of that growth curve to continue to excel and um, grow in the years ahead. Young Living has members in 25 countries and growing. Young Living has over 2 million customers. Um, and I know many of us want to be a part of the journey to 20 million customers and beyond. Uh, because once you smell peace and calming, once you do yoga while diffusing frankincense essential oil. Once you use the CBD cream on your low back. Anyway, we want to see this grow. We want people to know about these products. Young Living has done $2 billion a year in sales. I think through like the last three or four years, I think it might be three, but um, yeah. So this is also huge. And why not be a part of the journey to $20 billion a year in sales? This is another reason we're passionate about Young Living. Young Living is about the earth, cares a ton about the earth, and, and is, that's, that's the heart of the seed to seal promise, right? That we know that we're doing good, like the earth is being loved on by Young Living Farms, right? These, the farms are honoring commitment to the earth. And also, um, you know, I'll just read a couple lines. We empower individual lives, families, and communities with purpose, knowledge, products, and education to fulfill our company's vision. A healthy home for each of us, a healthy world for all of us. And Young Living is all about inclusion, respect, trust, and transparency. So anyway, this, this you know, you can look this up online to see, see more of the details of the manifesto, but this feels good as a, um, you know, a foundational, foundational vision for what Young Living is all about. And once you fall in love with the products, recommending them to others is as simple as one, two, three. So let's dive in a little bit. First off, telling your story. So if you're brand new to Young Living, um, pretty critical that you enjoy Young Living products. Pretty critical. Going to be really hard to sell somebody on these water jars, right? These mason jars, if I don't like mason jars. I love mason jars. I could sell this to somebody walking by on the street. Like I, I'm a May, I drink a lot of water because of these Mason jars. So your Young Living Oils journey, your Young Living product journey is about gathering stories, right? It's about gathering stories. It's like, oh, I, I sprained my ankle back in June. Guess what? I got a lot of stories from it. I got a lot of oil downloads. I was using the CBD muscle rub. I was using um, vetiver essential oil. I was using Panaway essential oil. So you're gathering stories um, and then you start telling your story. And that can be one-on-one. -on -one. That can be in, you know, intentional conversations. 
but you just start telling your story. It can also be through your social media. I know a lot of folks have had a lot of success growing via social media. Um, and that could just be literally like me posting about on my Instagram story and Facebook stories, posting about my return to health, right? How I'm healing my Achilles tendon or healing. I guess I'm not supposed to use that word. How I am improving my Achilles tendon um, or my back, right? So tell your story in a compliant way that honors Young Living, okay? And that will allow Young Living to be around for a very long time. So you tell your story, you invite people to take a look. So that could be inviting people to a Wednesday night workshop. That could be you and your friend who invited you to check out this call. Y'all could host a workshop and you would invite people, hey, I'm hosting an essential oils workshop on Tuesday night next week. Um, would you come and support me? Will you come and listen and support me? Don't give them an out. Just ask. Just ask, ask blank, blatantly, will you come and support me? Will you come and learn with me? And just get a yes or a no. And you might get a no response. But you're going to invite people to take a look unapologetically because you know these oils, these products can change lives, right? They've been changing lives over the last 27 years. That's why Young Living has grown and expanded as they have. Number three, listen to and honor people. Guess what? You know, one of one of Sarah and I's biggest business leaders took for about seven months. We went back and forth over Messenger. She's like, "Oils? Are you sure? Do they really help? Could they really help me?" Right there, she just asked me so many questions for that seven months, and I was just focused on listening to her and honoring where she was at. And eventually, she arrived at a place. Um, after talking to my brother and sister-in-law about the business opportunity, I had been answering all these oils questions. I was new to the business, which is why I connected her with my brother and my sister-in-law, Andy and Andrea. And really, we're just focused on listening to and honoring people. And she chose to get started. So these are your three, these are your three focuses. You know, when in doubt, go back to these. You know, it's like, all right, when was the last time I told my story? that I actually use essential oils, right? If I'm not, if nobody knows, you can't, you know, you, you can't launch a business and not have any hours, right? You can't launch a business and never be open, right? So you gotta tell your story. You're gonna invite people to take a look, come to workshops, et cetera, and then really just focus on listening to and honoring people where they're at. Lots of reasons why network marketing makes sense to me. Um, three of the reasons, off of this list that jump out at me, first off, being my own boss. I love that, that if I have family coming in from Indiana, if I, like last week, I had family here from Indiana, I'm able to design my day in such a way that I still can find my windows to grow my business, to grow our business, right? So I love that I can be my own boss. I love that one of the blessings that Sarah and I have experienced has been being able to be our own boss while traveling, right? The fact that I can do so much of, grow so much of our business through the internet, through phone calls, through FaceTimes, right? Through workshops online, um, through one-on-one -on -one Skype calls or Zoom calls, right? This is like, I get to be my own boss and figure out how I want to do it. And I can travel while doing it. Uh, second piece would be the personal and professional growth. Um, I believe that, you know, I started in 14, so I guess I'm seven years in of growing a business. I feel healthier. Now. I feel like the growth that I've had to go through over the last seven years, while not easy, I feel stronger and healthier and better now, right? Improved. I, you know, like I, I was a good person seven years ago, but I feel just healthier and more like, it's been so healing for me, this journey of, of uh, network marketing, like sharing, sharing Young Living with the world. Um, and then also the professional growth. I think that that also has been huge. The entrepreneurial mindset. Um, at the end of the day, you know, I have to do it, right? Back when I was teaching high school, like um, I had a boss like watching me, you know, this is, this is a new mindset. So network marketing for me is about designing and creating and figuring out what that vision is for your life, right? And this network marketing world allows us to, to, to step into that is how it feels to me. And that's been my experience.
So how does this business work? How do I get paid? How much money can I make? What do I have to do to get paid? And how do I start? So you've got options, right? A lot of people are focused on gathering a few customers and getting their products paid or getting their products for free. So it's ultimately all about you, how, how deep in you choose to dive, right? So you could literally just focus on doing workshops here over the next six months, 12 months, right? Doing some one-on-one -on -one calls, reaching out to some folks, inviting people to some work workshops that Living Well Now is hosting, um, posting on your Instagram or your Facebook, being intentional, right? Um, and you could attract and gather a few customers and over time, create an income that allows you to then pay for your Ning Charette every month or pay for your CBD or whatever your product passions are, right? It will help you pay for your products. If you want to go further than that, you can inspire others to also gather customers, right? So if this is really going to grow for you at the end of the day, right? If you're really going to grow a successful young living business, Sarah and I can't do it all right? We can't do it all. At the end of the day, you need business partners. They're now called Young Living. We are called brand partners. You need to find brand partners. And that doesn't happen overnight. It could, but it takes some time, right? People want to see you in the game. People want to see you doing the work to then analyze and figure out and be like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'll if I'm going to grow a network marketing business, I'm definitely growing it, growing it with Krista. I'm definitely growing it with Shannon. I'm definitely growing it with Aaron. You know, like you, you want to be in that, in that modeling zone. You want to be doing the actions. Um, and then people, you'll find people, they'll eventually perhaps find you. Um, so inspire others to gather customers and build a sales team. So now it's not just you sharing, but now you have three, four, six other people, maybe a couple who are really sharing a lot with you. Maybe you're co-hosting workshops with these other brand partners that are on your team. So really, um, that's the goal. You can go as big as you want, right? Um, Sarah and I have hit the rank of gold um, and have been gold over, over the last few years. You can choose to grow to gold. You could say, you know what? I want to hit executive and I want to just rock executive for the next 25, 30 years, right? And I'm going to be happy with that. I'm going to just love on my executive squad. It's ultimately up to you. If you want to become a diamond, a Royal Crown diamond, if that's the goal, um, you can build your business as big as you want in, up in 25 countries. So if it's you plus four, you help four get started. Those four help four each. There's 16. Those 16 help four each. You have 84 repeat customers, and this would be people on subscribe to save, right? Subscribe to save is the monthly auto ship. So you would have people that are like saying, yeah, I want to get a wellness box every month from Young Living. That just makes sense to me. As you have a team around you, right? It's not just you ordering and you helping people, but you have this team of 84. Let's say each on average is ordering 125 of product a month, um, a Ning Red, a Thebes blend whatever their, you know, wellness goals, right? All of your teammates will have different wellness goals. So they'll be ordering different things. That would be $10,500 a month in sales. And you're going to earn about 7% on those sales, which is about $700 a month. So there's a good starting dream, right? It's like, all right, how over this next six, 12, 24 months, how am I going to grow a team of 84 repeat customers or more, right? So what, am I, what do I have to do to make that happen? Be sure to hop on um, Young Living. You can literally, on Google, this is a, this is a visual for you, um, but on type in Young Living Income Disclosure Statement, it'll give you a great visual, but you can get a vibe on what the potential income is, average potential income, for you know a yearly income for each of the ranks and you can get an idea of all right well, where where do i want to go right if you're if you're seeking to get rid of a part-time gig or a full-time gig or if you're just looking looking to find a new passion and purpose you know my mom launched her business after retiring right she i'm pretty sure she had retired yeah she had retired from teaching for 25 25 plus years and then launched her business so 
wherever you're at, you know, take a look at the annual income possibilities and kind of set your goal from there. So can I really make a living doing this? This is a lot of information to process. Here are a few questions that will help you decide. What if you tried the products? And what if you found them to be as extraordinary as I did? Would you recommend them? What if others fell in love with them? So not only are you loving your oils, right? I'm using patchouli, ylang ylang, and orange oil. That's my like daily cologne slash deodorant. You know, those are my, that's my deodorant. I love them. I'm recommending them. People are falling in love with them. What if Young Living starts sending a referral income to you every month? And what if that kept growing? As you kept growing, your personal, you know, your mindset, as you kept growing and sharing through workshops and one-on-ones, what if your team just kept growing? And what if you're part of a team with a proven track record that's been around, that's been in this world, this Young Living, this network marketing world for a while? And that would be, uh, you know, that's our Living Well Now team. Um, we have been around, I think they started growing their business in 2012, like really going after it. They had been kind of hobbying it part-time, hosting occasional workshops here and there, um, probably from 2009 to 2012, but that was very part-time. And then 2012 was when the light bulbs went on and it was like, all right, we're doing this. We're really going to go after this. We're really going to do what it takes. We're actually going to learn how to grow a network marketing business. We're going to learn how to grow a network marketing business. We're going to read the books. We're going to do the training so we can learn how to share and grow successfully. And so here we are nine years later, 2012 was really when that began. So yeah, nine years later and really focused on duplication through education. So teaching people about the business, teaching people about the products. Um, offering right now we're offering weekly workshops uh, we're still figuring out what we'll do in 2022 um, so but living well now has a vision to help lots of people say yes to body mind spirit wellness utilizing young living products and and essential oils and um, yeah anyway so you would be joining a great you know a great team that's been around and in the game for a while so again, as I said, one of the big pieces to keep in mind as you're pondering whether this is something for you, if I was going back to school to become a nurse, if I was going to launch and become a plumber, right? If I had some other interest, I'm going to have to go back to school. I'm going to have to learn the skills, the trade, right? So similarly, you know, if you're brand new and you have yet to dive in to the four-year career Young Living Edition. If you've yet to dive in to the game plan, the complete strategy guide, this by Sarah Harnish. Um, if you've yet to dive into GoPro by Eric Worre. Um, if you've yet to dive into these, these are things that you want to put on your the top of your list, right? Because in order to be successful at this, just like if you were going to be a successful nurse, you've ha you've got to learn the skills. You've got to practice the skills and, and grow your understanding of the network marketing business model and also of different strategies and how to, you know, maybe like growing lots of relationships overwhelms you. You know, my wife, when she first started, she was shy, right? A shy and introverted. And here she is seven years later, way more comfortable, way more relaxed about hosting workshops hopping on here, doing a Savvy Minerals class. She's way more relaxed after seven years. So wherever you're at, dive in to entrepreneurial books, dive into what, you know, these network marketing books so that you can learn what it's going to take mentally and emotionally to say yes to success. So again, if you're watching on YouTube or have joined here and you have yet to create a Young Living membership or a Young Living account, um, step one is just following up with whoever invited you to check out this video and have them kind of guide you through the signup process. Focus on your wellness goals, you know, as you're ordering your products, dive in with the products that are going to serve you and, you know, bless your health, right? So start there. Um, and you're going to want to announce your new business and start asking people to take a look. You can do that in a lot of different ways. Um, 
I typically, the way I kind of shared, at least through social media, was way more, um, it was less bold, like, hey, everybody, I launched a business, you know, this is me and my GoPro book, you know, and my frankincense. I, I didn't choose to do it that way. I chose to um, more say like, hanging out at the coffee shop, working my, you know, working my young living business, period, you know, and just posted a photo more to create interest was more what I was focused on. Um, but Hey, why not send out a letter? You know, if you're, if you're, a, if you like writing letters or if you wanted to write up a message, um, again, you don't want to do six pages, right. But if you wanted to write up a message and send it out to some of your, you know, 30 to 50 to hundred of your, um, most supportive community and just say, Hey, I just wanted you to know I'm launching a business with Young Living. Um, and I just, I want you to know that. Um, and I would love your prayers. I would love your support. Um, and just wanted to give you a heads up. If you see me posting stuff about oils, about natural wellness, that's what's going on. Um, you know, you, you get to decide how you share it publicly. Um, maybe it's one-on-one. -on -one. On, a, on an as needed basis, when somebody asks you, hey, what's going on? How's life? You know, and you're filling them in. Well, hey, actually, I'm, I just decided to start this side hustle uh, with Young Living. Um, yeah, I went to this class, I got excited and yeah, I'm doing it. I love these products. I've been using the products now for six months or six years and I'm like totally locked in on the products. And I think these products can be life changers for people. So. You decide how you publicly share. Those were a couple ideas for me. Um, you'll want to hop on, download Young Liv or our Living Well Now Steps for Success, and really just start inviting your friends and family to upcoming events. So um, at the end of the day, inviting is crucial um, to your success. You know, inviting people to take a look. Um, you know, I've sent out lots of samples over the years, um, and sometimes it's led to somebody diving in with products and other times it has led to them enjoying a sample. So it's, you know, there's no, this is the only path to get, you know, to, to have people join you. Um, the point is, is just find, be creative, be creative about how you're going to invite people to take a look. Lots of different ways to start. These are some of the kits that Young Living offers. Um, you don't have to, you currently don't have to begin with an actual kit. A lot of people choose to start with a kit because it's financially, you get the most bang for your buck, but it's not, you don't have to do it this way. You can literally hop on and sign up with a business essentials kit, which makes you a brand partner, and then pick a hundred PV worth of products that you want, or sign up for subscribe to save and be like, all right, this month, I'm gonna dive into the household cleaning products. All right, next month, I'm going to dive into the CBD line a little bit. Next month, I'm going to dive in, right? You get to decide how you do it. Um, but dive in, get to know the products. At the end of the day, your stories, you getting to know these products is crucial for your success. Um, all that to say, here's to dreams, here's to visions. You know, For some reason, I think a lot of us, um, we stop dreaming at a young age, or we thought that our dreams weren't, were no longer possible. Um, and is young living the only path? Is growing a young living business your only path to abundance, time freedom, financial freedom? No, no, there's lots of paths for you. There's lots of paths that you could choose. Um, is the young living business path an overnight thing? No, definitely not, definitely not. And I think um, that's something I invite you to also share as you're growing your business, it's, it's not overnight. It's not overnight. So you're looking for people who want to lock arms with you, right? You're looking for brand partners who want to lock arms with you and who want to have this 10, this 5, 10, 15, 20 year vision with you. You know, I love dreaming and visioning with our brand partners, um, with Sarah and I's brand partners about, about what's ahead, right? Um, if, you know, if convention is in Utah next summer, um, if it ends up happening, which I hope it does, right? I'm thinking like, all right, who can come out to California? I've got, we've got a lot of team in Indiana um, and some team in Florida. 
if they come out to Utah, they're really close to California. They might as well just come a little bit further and they can stay with us for a few nights. So be creative. Think about big vision. Um, you've got to give it more than six to 12 months. You've got to have that four to seven year vision uh, in my experience and in what I've heard from the pros, the network marketing pros. Um, and yeah, at the end of the day, I believe in you. Decide every day, decide every day to grow your belief in yourself, to grow your belief in these products, to grow your belief in network marketing, and just to, to grow your belief in humans, that, that humans want to grow, that humans want to improve, that humans want to get healthier, right? Look, we got to grow our belief together. And then that's how we go from 2 million members to 20 million members, right? Because it's, it's this like, yes, we're getting healthy together. Let's do it. Um, so thanks for being here tonight. That was a little longer than usual, but thanks for hanging in. Hope you have a beautiful night, whether you caught this live here on Zoom or if you watch this on YouTube, blessings to you. Reach out to the person who invited you to this call and, and dive in. I'm cheering you on and be in touch if I can be helpful. Adios.